In this video, we're going to take a look at how you hard reset a Synology MR2200 AC wireless router from within Synology's router manager. A hard reset, or as it's sometimes referred, a factory reset, is when we attempt to restore our router back to its original factory default settings. As this procedure will remove all of the configuration settings on our router, and return the router back to a state where it will display the setup wizard, typically we would perform this action if we were looking to sell, give away, or decommission our router. In order to perform this type of factory reset, we first need to log into Synology's router manager using our administrator's credentials. However, if you're unable to access the SRM on your router, then you can also factory reset your MR2200 AC via the reset button on the rear of the unit. Now from the SRM's desktop, if we select Control Panel, and then from the sidebar we locate and choose System, under the Update and Restore tab is a heading called Configuration Backup and Restore. In the subsection Restore the Backup Configuration or Restore Synology Router to its Factory Default Settings, if we select Restore Factory Default Settings, a window will appear informing us that by performing this task, we will remove all data and return our router to its default settings. When we select the tick box, next to I understand all of my data will be deleted forever and be unrecoverable, the Erase All Data button will start a countdown. At the end of the countdown, if we select Erase All Data, we will start the hard reset process. As the factory reset will take around 10 minutes to complete, we can close our web browser. The indicator lights on the front of our MR2200 AC will change from showing both a green status light and its wireless signal strength to just showing us a solid blue status light. This signifies that our router is currently in the process of performing a hard reset. It is very important that while the router is being hard reset that we do not remove the power from our router. When the status light on our router starts to flash blue, we will have completed a hard reset of our Synology MR2200 AC. If we once again try to wirelessly connect to our router, we will find that the router is displaying its default SSID, which as you can see here begins with the word Synology. If when you select your router's default SSID and are asked for a password, you will need to type Synology into the password field. With our computer once again wirelessly connected to our router, if we open a web browser and type the router's default IP address, which in this case is 192.168.1.1, after pressing enter on the keyboard, we will once again be shown the starting page for the MR2200 AC's setup wizard.